Chipper Jones in civvies and on crutches for the Braves, as will be the case for the rest of the season, but locked in against Vicente Padilla and L.A., well, Atlanta would not need Jones. Bottom three already two zip Braves. Alex Gonzalez adding on. A liner the opposite way into the gap in right center. This will roll all the way to the wall. Call it a two-run triple for zip Bravos. Let's go to the fifth. It's now five zip Braves. And this is the Troy Gloss portion of the program. In the air, left center field. That's pretty well hit. Kemp going back. That ball is out of here. Gloss is 16th on the season. Chases Vicente Padilla. He gives up eight earned in just four and a third. As for the Braves pitcher, how about Jair Jurgens? He was your starter in the six, working with an eight-zip lead. But Scott Podsednik. Right off of Jurgens. Jurgens will make the play and get Patsednik at first, but the trainers are going to come out and have a look at Jurgens and his foot. They say he's okay. They leave him in the ball game, and well, that worked out. In the seventh, he strikes out Casey Blake, so Jurgens, seven strong, just one earned run, seven strikeouts, and we're off to the eighth. It's now 9 1. Here is Alex Gonzalez adding on for Atlanta. Line right field, a base hit, right center, actually. And Gonzalez has a four RBI day. That puts the Braves up 10-1. Same frame again, Troy Gloss. This one golfed high into the sky. And, well, Jay Gibbons loses it in the Atlanta sun. It was that kind of day for the Dodgers. It drops in. A run scores. Make it 11-1. Braves 13-1. Your final, the Braves with 16 total hits. Gonzalez and Gloss combined for eight ribbies. Plenty of run support for Jurgens, who moves to 5-4. and four. As the Braves open up a 2-1 series lead, Game 4 comes your way from Hotlanta on Monday.